Relations here with a video game video for you guys. This is actually my top 10 video games of the year, 2014. So let's get right into it. Starting with the number 9 and 10 spot. I give you both at the same time because it is Pokemon Omega Sapphire and Alpha Ruby. Um, these games are remakes of the third generation Pokemon games. Those originally came out on Game Boy Advance and now they're out on the 3DS. When those came out, for whatever the reason by then, that was the generation I was kind of like, not over Pokemon, but getting over it. And I never really, um, at the time of release, went through the whole game. I did later on. And much similar to that with these, when they first released, that's right when World of Warcraft was out, and a whole bunch of other games, Smash Brothers. So I actually haven't gotten around to uh, playing it. One of these are still actually sealed. Um, but I'm sure maybe next month or something like that, I'll be able to jump in and go ahead and get all the badges and catch all the Pokemon from that game so looking forward to that number eight on the list is another remake this is Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 for the PS3 uh, I was actually just announced that it'll also be coming out again <laughs> for the PS4 so they're making a remake of the remake which is pretty funny you know no complaints Sony make your money um, it is what it is but yeah these were games I loved when they originally released uh, I don't remember I don't think I beat 10 originally I know I beat 10 2 and yeah, so it was really cool to jump back into those worlds again and uh, go ahead and play them in HD graphics. Next up, Dark Souls 2. Uh, I haven't put way too much time into this game. I'd really like to jump into it some more. Uh, I've put maybe three, four hours, something like that, into the game, and obviously there's a lot more to go through it. However, I still have to rank it up there just because of how much I enjoyed it. Um, being a fan of like Diablo growing up and stuff like that, these type of RPG games are always like high on my list. So there you go at number seven, Dark Souls two. Number six, Mario Kart eight. Um, definitely an amazingly fun like party game with friends and stuff like that. I like how they have the amiibo functionality, so you can have the different costumes and stuff like that. And it's already just a really like well executed game that's a lot of fun and to add that like collectible toy um, like I guess value to the game something I really enjoy so that's number six on my list speaking of the value of collectible toys mixing with games number five Disney Infinity Marvel uh, 2.0 superheroes now I've always been a big Disney fan but I've also definitely been a Marvel fan and so to get those collectible toys like I was talking about with the other game and being able to put them into the game and just um, the different story modes and everything like that all inside the games there's even more collectible stuff you can gather like costumes and set building stuff and stuff like that so definitely really high on my list I had a lot of fun with it I put a bunch of hours into it to be honest but yeah I don't even I don't even know how many but yeah a lot of fun and I can't wait for the next one because I'm guessing it'll be Star Wars related considering the new movie comes out next year oh my gosh next up number four um, shooters don't usually make it too high onto my list however Destiny um, is an MMO um, or at least has MMO aspects to it and that's something I can really appreciate as someone who likes to like collect and like upgrade their gear and stuff like that a lot of fun. Um, I think I put about 40 hours into this game, something like that. I just recently hit level 26 once the new um, expansion came out. Um, but yeah, as far as doing the rating and all that, I already have a game where I do that in, and that's World of Warcraft, as you can see back there. So to like um, put that time investment into it is not really something I'm looking to do off of this game. Just kind of grab and play and have some fun. So Destiny, PS4 release, right there, um, number four on my list. Next up, a game that came out uh, really early in the year, South Park The Stick of Truth, an amazingly funny game. It's basically like a 10 hour long episode of South Park. Uh, a lot of fun, and plus it has the RPG elements that I keep on talking about that I love. Um, it looks just like the cartoon itself, and yeah, an amazing game. I hope there's a sequel later on, but we'll see what they, what, what they end up doing with it. South Park The Stick of Truth. If you're a South Park fan, you gotta play it. Even if you don't really like RPGs, it's not really that difficult of an RPG, so like really the the stuff that I got stuck on was more like timing. There's like little things where you have to like travel farts across the room and stuff like that, as South Park of course would have, and just like getting that wrong was the only thing that like had me stuck on the game. But yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of comedy, and even like it's fun to watch. So if you have someone else that just wants to watch you play or whatever, it's fun. So. Definitely a very amazing game. And it would probably be number one if it weren't for like um, newer versions of already like favorite games, which I'm going to get into next. Number two, 
Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Um, I I know that I put uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire as separate, but I kind of put the 3DS and this one as the same release, just because. I mean, you're probably going to want to play this game on the go, so the 3DS version is going to be something you're probably going to want to get as well. I don't know. To me, I just kind of combine these two. But anyways, um, Smash Brothers for the Wii U is a game I've been super pumped for for over a year now. It's got to have been. They've been hyping this game up so much. And once again, it's got that collectible element that I love. You can see the figures back there, the Amiibos. And so yeah, Nintendo, Blizzard, and Sony are my three favorite gaming companies, and um, a lot of my favorite games growing up came from uh, Nintendo, and to have all those characters in one game to battle with, and with friends online and everything, all the different features they have, just the bang for your buck, this is an amazing game that I definitely recommend. And lastly, you can probably guess it by that huge um, store display that I got for it, uh, World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor. Um, I've loved this game for the past 10 years. Whenever the new expansion comes out, I get it day one. I'm always racing to be one of the first on the server to get max level. Um, so yeah, I've been playing it pretty much non-stop since it came out. And enjoyed every minute of it. The new features, the garrison. Uh, of course, now they have the cross-realm features for people that are just now getting back into the game. You can play with other people from other servers. And just, um, yeah, so many new additions. The raiding is really fun, as always. Uh, I'm rating in High Mall right now. And yeah, so that's my list. Is there anything you guys feel that I missed? Once again, let me run through them. Um, World of Warcraft number one. Ooh, let me grab these. Followed by Smash, South Park, Destiny, Disney Infinity, Mario Kart, Dark Souls. Uh, Final Fantasy X and Gen 2, and Pokemon, Ruby, and Sapphire. And just to kind of finish this video up, some games that I know I'm inter interested for uh, for next year, Bloodborne. I'm actually probably going to check out that um, Yoshi Woolly War World. I haven't played a Yoshi game in quite some time, but just the way that game looks, like it looks like it's just literally yarn being used and stuff uh, out of, like, I don't know, Grandma's Arts and Crafts set or something like that. It just looks amazing. And those are the games that come to mind right off the top. Um, but I'm also hoping that there's going to be a Disney Infinity Star Wars game. If so, wow. <laughs> going to be super excited for that one. But yeah, um, until next year, guys, I'll see you for um, more top 10 video game lists. And uh, stay tuned for more collectibles, video game, and sneaker videos right here on YouTube.com slash Peace, guys.